Well, we test for prostate cancer in a number of ways. First of all, we examine the prostate through the, uh, through the rectum, a digital rectal examination it's called, DRE, shortened to. And perhaps most important of all, we run a prostate-specific antigen blood test, a PSA test. Now, the PSA level rises with prostate cancer. It's not the most accurate test in the world, but the higher your PSA number, above four, maybe 10, maybe 20, maybe 50, maybe 100, the higher the PSA is, the greater the probability that that person will be suffering from prostate cancer. Now, if the PSA level is raised, that doesn't mean that you necessarily have prostate cancer. What it usually means is that the doctor will want you to have a biopsy of the prostate. That is, some tiny pieces of prostate are taken away with a needle, usually through the rectum or sometimes through the skin of the perineum and those pieces of prostate are sent to the laboratory and they're looked at under the under the microscope and the pathologist will say well this patient does have prostate cancer or hopefully this patient doesn't have prostate cancer so just because your PSA is raised doesn't mean you necessarily have prostate cancer but it does mean that you're likely to need a biopsy